No, seven. Uh, position, money bed. Uh, seven and a half. All right, question one. In 2001, who did Ballymoney United beat in the Lancer Junior Cup final? Lancer Junior Cup final. It was uh, in Newbridge Town's ground, and uh, we beat Kildare Town 3 1. During your time at Ballymoney United, who was the most influ influential player on the pitch? Uh, there was a lot of them, Jock, uh, because the side was so good. Um, it'd be really difficult to pick one in particular. Uh, but I think um, a player, uh, in, in my mind, uh, apart from Christie, who was a skipper, but in my mind, uh, who was influential, was, uh, was Derek Moore in, in regard to his play and his general uh, uh, talk uh, during games. He was fantastic. Okay. Who do you play for in club football in the National League? Um, well, I started in, uh, um, back in 1973 at Sligo Rovers, had a season there. And then uh, went on to play 10 years in uh, Shamrock Rovers. Uh, didn't play for a year and a half after a bad injury and uh, went to actually Air Lingus at the time. But came back then and played three years with uh, Waterford. And then uh, a year down at Kilkenny and uh, back to Rovers to finish up. What was your greatest achievement as a player? Uh, I suppose you'd have to say the uh, uh, greatest achievement would be getting an international cap. As a manager? As a manager, I think the best times I had uh, was at Bally Monday night because uh, the club was fantastic. Uh, we had uh, two fantastic seasons uh, in, in winning most trophies that were available. and. Uh, it was just a, a, a pleasure to, to be involved with the club. How many international caps did you get? Three. Should have been 33. But uh, I only got the three. Who were they against? Uh, the first one was um, Turkey in uh, Lansdowne Road. Uh, then it was um, Poland away in Poland. And then uh, against Northern Ireland, uh, the first, two, first time the, uh, the countries met in competition. In 2001, how did you, as manager, not win the Liddy Cup? <laughs> I don't know who to blame for that question. I'd say you might have something to do with it. Um, well, I'd, so I'd probably say um, uh, Jimmy O'Neill. <laughs> okay, what is the capital of Elder Mongolia? Oh, Elder <laughs> Mongolia, so to speak. <laughs> Well, I remember that was being uh, there was a quiz on in Lanzarote, and uh, I remember being asked that question, and I did say uh, uh, the correct answer, as far as I'm aware, Ulan Bator. And of course, Peter Smith is not as hard as that's a walker and little. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, finally, who was the best player you ever marked? Well, fail to mark might be uh, a better way of putting it. Um, I suppose really, uh, well, we were fortunate enough to play against. Um, Argentina, just before they won the World Cup in 1978, and uh, there was a player playing centre forward that day called Leopoldo Luque, and um, so uh, I would I would have to say Jerry Armstrong from Northern Ireland was a real tough nut, but I would have to say uh, Luque, and um, I suppose he's lucky enough to have my jersey in his wardrobe. Okay, now thank you very much. Way well done. One more. Ah. Can you name the team? Porel in the 2001. Lens the junior good one. Oh. Um, David Conroy, um, Richie Kelly, Mel, um, Ray Duffy, Colin Curry, um, right side, I think Mark Kelly, uh, Derek Moore. Uh, oh, against the Leinster, the Leinster Junior, junior Cup final. Yeah. Leinster Junior, yeah. 2001. Oh, the FBI Junior, or the oh, Leinster, Leinster Junior? Leinster. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go with Derek Moore, yeah. And um, I think uh, uh, Christian Gallagher. Um, up front would have been uh, David Kane and Gary Burdock. And left side... Oh. Would have been Paul Kane. Oh, we talk, is that where we finished there? And of course, a, a major uh, acquisition on the bench was Casey McQuillan. <laughs> um, 
And really, I can't, I can't remember the other boys, but look, because Casey's stuck in my head. <laughs> There's another question. What's your current career at the moment in football? <laughs> well, this is sort of a strange one, really. Um, what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to uh, referee. Um, so I actually have to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, apart from the two teeth I lost there, I've got a dig from one of the players. We won't say anymore about that. No, I'm on a job. Great, great uh, uh, just to be involved, uh, still in, uh, in some capacity. So I'm enjoying that at the moment. Would you ever see yourself doing anything else again with Body Money United? Um, well, I think uh, it's been, although it, it wasn't a long period of time that I was involved with it, um, great affiliation for the club, and I think uh, I'd love to be involved at some stage doing something, uh, maybe down the road. Um, that's not necessarily putting the last few bricks uh, into the uh, clubhouse, but uh, something uh, that would be helpful to all the club, yeah. Okay. Anything else? You want, you want that to say? No, just uh, uh, thanks for the invitation uh, down to the new complex. And uh, I hope it looks fantastic and I hope uh, um, everything gets finished off fairly quickly so that we can, uh, we can really call it uh, a club where everybody can come and, and uh, have a, a social uh, part in it. Uh, and I'm sure it's, and it's great anyway to see the buddy might having the wrong ground again where, where um, it can be a fortress like San Siro used to be. So I'm delighted to be uh, even down here today. And thanks very much, Dave. Very good. I can yeah. have the answer. I'll find out when I leave here. Hannah. I think Hannah definitely did. Hannah. Yeah. Yeah, you did, yeah. Um, Was one of you not injured? No, did you score? I thought you just wanted a few times you scored, John. Yeah. Well, that would be right now. No, he did. He did, yeah. Hannah, I forgot Hannah. Hannah played. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell her, haven't you? <laughs>